guys. Uh, just did that other video. I'm going to do this one right now. Hop right into it. Like I showed y'all on the last one, I showed you this pair, which is the Nike Air Pressure from 1989. I had the box with it right here. And I also still have the pump for it right here. So all accessories were with it. Um, the shoe itself. And like I was saying, Sneakers App kind of did like a story on it, saying that who knows what 2015 will hold for it. Well, I've been waiting and waiting and waiting, and 2015 hasn't held shit for it. So I was like, you know what, I got to do something. I really want to get something to match these, because these are my dad's when he was younger. Uh, I wanted to have like the same shoe my dad had. That'd be really cool. So I did some research, and back in 2010, I was, what, 15? 15? Yeah, I was 15. Uh, didn't have a job, because you can't have a job here until you're 16. Uh, didn't really buy a whole lot of shoes, didn't really have a lot of sneaker knowledge. Uh, and this shoe, I've never even heard about. Now that I've been in the shoe game for two, three years now, I haven't heard anything about this shoe. Never. I mean, until, until I started looking up more on if they're going to retro the shoe. This right here is the Nike Air PR1 HOH, which is the Nike Air Pressure 1 House of Hoops exclusive. I don't know if y'all heard my cat just scream right now, but that was kind of weird. And uh, the official colorway on this on this little sneaker happens to be white, dark gray, wolf gray, and spirit red. Which is kind of a weird colorway, because I mean, the original one was white, cement gray, and something orange. Uh, now this shoe, once I saw it on, on uh, like I looked, up, I looked it up, Saw some sneaker forums like Nike Talk. I also saw it on uh, what's another site I saw it on like Sneaker News from 2010. Uh, I looked for this pair and this exact colorway, and all I found was an all red pair, a black pair, uh, a gray pair. Like none of the ones I was looking for. Found that it was a House of Hoops exclusive, and that they were made very limited. And I was like, well, I'm not probably, I'm probably not going to find one uh, until I found one. And the seller had just listed it in dead stock condition size 12 which is my size and this is the only one that was on eBay and now that I look there has been a pair since uh, this is the Nike Air Pressure 1 House of Hoops exclusive in the retro colorway of the original Nike Air Pressure now this was considered to be the retro of the Nike Air Pressure minus the air compartment where you could pump it up and added a few different things it, it's really not that similar it's a little similar if this was to be all original with the orange little circle in the middle still and all that, it would look a lot better, but it's not. They use the darker gray on the swoosh, they use the darker gray on the midsole, they even added an air unit. And if you can't tell by me showing you this right now, this is the Jordan 3 sole. So I mean they added a whole lot of different things onto this sneaker. But you know, I think it works. I think it actually looks okay, it kind of looks like an Air Force One, mixed with the Jordan. A Jordan with an air unit. Uh, it has a strap. They fixed this up. Uh, it's not going to crumble like the old one. It's not foam, and it's also 3M. So whenever light reflects off of it, you're going to get that 3M effect. Uh, and they, I, I don't know if they did this to pay homage to it or whatever, but they actually included a hole, which it doesn't make a whole lot of sense because that don't work. Oh shit! Actually some pressure on that but yeah I mean it's I mean it's just for show I'm just kidding uh, but it actually did feel something I was like what but it's just a little hole I mean you can't pump air into it not like the original it doesn't have the whole gray cage that said Nike that stuck out uh, it doesn't have any pump to it actually the only pump one that I think that Nike has now is the command force which has a thing where you can kind of go but uh, I'm really really hoping they retro the air pressure so I can actually get a, a legit retro uh, instead of what they call it the PR1 which is supposed to be the retro but like I said in my previous video the, the air pressure retailed at 250 I think or 225 in 1989 which would probably get us to close to 400 500 in today's time and I'm sure Nike doesn't want to drop that because that's just kind of a slap in the face to the buyer I mean but I would buy it but uh I mean, you really look at this and you see the resemblance. There's the gray, there's the white, there's a strap, there's a super, super high top on it. Uh, 
but then you also see the air unit, the Jordan 3 sole, the stars. I mean, you see a lot of differences too, but I see what they were going for. Right here it says Nike and that orange spirit red on this one now. You see it on there. You see the really, really heavy tongue. And this one, it said Nike Air and orange. It didn't just say Nike. It, this one says Nike Air, the other one just says Nike. It has that heavy tongue in the strap. It's actually the exact same strap from this one. Uh, so, I mean, I see what they did. I see what they were going for. Uh, was it well executed? If they were going for something different, yes. Uh, if they're trying to stay true to the retro, no, not at all. But uh, just knowing this is the closest thing I can find to having something like my dad, I went ahead and just grabbed it. Uh, so this is, what is it, the right shoe. Let me get you... Oh, here it is. Here's the left one. These are completely dead stock. Uh, I haven't even tried them on. I just took one of the lace bags off because it contains the strap. Just to put one on to show you guys. There you go, you get the Nike Air. I mean, not just the Nike. Nike Air on the back. Which is actually kind of cool. You still get that retro feel to it with the Nike Air. As you can see, it has that red inside of the, insole, inside of the air bubble. Stars on these are huge. I actually don't own a pair of Jordan 3's, but I have a pair of Jordan 4's. And the stars are about the same on it. Uh, and instead of it saying Jordan, it says Nike. And this one, I mean... It's just a little bit more bulky than what I thought it would be. Because in all honesty, like when I hold it up to y'all right here, it's more of like a rounded bulk to it. And this one is just regular leather. There's no perforations on this one, but there's a whole lot on this one. Uh, like I said, bottoms are completely different. But when you do look at them side by side, I guess you can kind of be like, yeah, I see. I mean, I do see it. But it might just be that I'm just seeing it because I want to see it. But indeed, I do see the resemblance to it. The colorway, of course, is the resemblance to it. Now, the silhouette is a little different, but I'm not seeing that they're doing anything with that silhouette and retroing it. So I said, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to go buy the closest thing I can. And luckily, I found the only pair on eBay, and it happened to be my size. So I said, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and do it, pull the trigger. Uh... I think it was 170 bucks shipped. I was like, I'm just not even gonna think about it. Just do it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not really having buyer's remorse on it. It's not something where, honestly, I don't think I'll be wearing this shoe too much. It's just really bulky and high. Uh, maybe with some jogger pants in the winter or fall, because it's really high and then it cuts low. It's just a really awkward sneaker to rock. Uh, but the reason I bought it was just to have. Because I had the other ones, I wanted to display it with each other. Uh, especially when I get like a when I move out and get a bigger place, I'm gonna start putting like sneakers in different spots. These would be good together. Uh, just I really want it as a collector's piece. Of course, I'm gonna wear them because I wear all my shoes. I just have to wear them with the right stuff. I can't rock these with shorts or anything. You're just gonna have to go with pants or something. Uh, but I mean, I'm really happy I did get them because. It's very rare to find this shoe in this colorway. You can find the other colorways, but in this one, it's very hard because they made them in limited numbers, and you really can't find them. So, I mean, I'm pretty stoked I found a size 12, which is my size, and it was the only pair on eBay, and it just happened to be dead stock. I thought I could talk them down a lot lower because what I saw in the other colorways were like 65, 70 range. There's a few over 100, but uh, they weren't selling, but this colorway was the only one. And he actually showed me what he sold before, and I've seen what other shoes had sold before, and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and offer, and he took it, so I just played it cool on that one. But it looks like it's going to be a really comfy shoe. I've heard nothing but good things about Jordan 3s. My Jordan 4s are really great on comfort. Uh, the tongue is very padded, so it's probably going to put some comfort there. A lot of perforations, so I'm hoping this keeps my foot kind of cool and dry. But uh, it's not bad. The only thing, the only, only thing I wish they did to this was on the originals it had cement uh, cement print on this and they just really just did a dark gray uh, if it was up to me I would have gone light gray on the gray and then added the cement print just you know to put that little extra in there but uh, I guess they just didn't want to but I'm gonna cut this strap off after this video put both of them on it try them on see how they feel and I'm probably gonna wear them soon once it gets cooler because right now it's September here in Texas and it is still really hot, so probably around November, December time is when these will get on foot. Uh, 
along with a lot more of my Jordan 1s. I've worn some of them now, but it's just really hot to wear pants right now here. So, it's more runners. So, this is it for today. I'm supposed to be, I mean, this I ordered a week ago. I ordered another pair a, a while back, too, and still haven't come in. Uh, but Saturday, hopefully I can go pick up a pair that I'm really, really hyped up on. Uh, just got to see how that goes. Uh, either way, I'm going to be doing a review probably on this weekend because I'm getting another pair on Saturday as well. And then Nike Nike's packages was actually coming in tomorrow. So I'm going to do a review on that. I just have a lot of stuff coming up. I also have a class meeting in the morning. And then I have a lot more work that I've been doing. So a lot of stuff going on, but I'm going to make sure to get some videos out because uh, it's just really something I haven't been doing too much and I kind of miss doing videos. So here's a Nike Air Pressure 1 House of Hoops. Retail on it, I think was, I think was 110. The retail thing kind of tore off, but I'm pretty sure it was 110. So I'm gonna go ahead with that. Paid about 50 bucks over retail. So when you think about it, retail plus tax plus shipping plus like here's 20 bucks for getting them 10, for getting them five years ago for me. Thanks, bro. So not a bad pickup. I really like the 3M hit on the orange part. Uh, like I said, I would have changed it to cement prints, but pretty happy I got these to match these. So. Overall, pretty good. Pretty good pickup in my opinion. Just something else to have. But that's it. So thanks for watching, guys. This is Lord Ryan. You can follow me on Instagram at Lord underscore Ryan. If you want to like, comment, subscribe, it'd be much appreciated. Uh, I think I've I've already gone over a thousand subs, so soon I'm gonna be doing a giveaway. I kind of wanted to keep that on the low until I was actually for sure. I'm gonna be doing a little giveaway. Uh, I'm also probably gonna do a Q&A soon. So just keep keep tuned for that if y'all actually care. If not, this is the video. This is already it. This is the end. I'll catch y'all next time, guys. Thanks for watching. See y'all probably this weekend, probably.